Let's see how we can set up the environment for installing and running NGMM tools using Docker. I have already installed Docker desktop and also Git. And before uh, doing anything, we need to make sure Docker is running in background. So if I click here, it says Docker desktop is running. So we're good for this. Then I need to open the terminal and change directory to the path I want to install NGMM tools. For that, I can use CD. And then, for example, I want to install it on my desktop. So I can say CD desktop. And therefore, that would be the path. Then I need to pull the Docker image from Docker Hub. For that, you can go to the web page of the project. If you go down to the product section, there is a link for opening Docker Hub. So here, what you need to do is basically copying this Docker pull command and paste it here in terminal. It may take several minutes to pull the image. So I'm going to stop recording and come back when we are done with this step. Okay, so we are now um, we are done with uh, pulling the image. And if you go and check the Docker desktop, you will see that this image is listed here in this section. Then what we need to do is cloning the NGMM tools Docker repository. For that, uh, let's go back to uh, the web page for the project. Open this link. So if you go and scroll down, you see that there are there, uh, there is a readme file with instruction you need to know to install, run, and uh, do other things with NGMM tools. And basically, basically what I'm doing now is uh, showing you these uh, steps. So in order to clone the GitHub repository, you need to get um, this link or URL. So let me copy that. Then let's go back to uh, the terminal. And what we need to do is type in git clone that URL and use the recursive option. So now we are cloning that repository to our computer. And again, it may take uh, several minutes to do so. So I'll come back when we are done with cloning. Now we are done with installation and uh, we are ready to uh, basically launch that Docker image container and run NGMM tools. So let's see how we can do that. Let me clean my terminal. Then uh, we need to change directory and go to um, the downloaded uh, or cloned repository. Therefore, I do see the Docker NGMM tools. And here, what you need to do is just type in make run. And uh, this will basically help us launch the Docker container and tell it use this path to link it uh, to the work directory of that virtual environment. It will give us this uh, Jupyter URL that we can use and open in our web browser. And when we do so, you see this uh, JupyterLab environment now that has all the dependencies and libraries needed for running NGMM tools embedded and included. So we don't need to be worried about installing them separately. So um, these are the notebooks you can use. And they are in R and Python. And also this is uh, the book directory, which is linked to um, the cloned GitHub repository in our desktop. And uh, if you want to update uh, NGMM tools, uh, what you need to do is basically opening terminal and make sure that you are in the work directory. And if you go to this GitHub repository, there's instruction to do that. So uh, what we need to do is basically type make update in GMM tools. So let me try it here. And with this, uh, if there is any update in the repository uh, after uh, building that Docker image in the Docker hub, we can merge those updates here. 
Also, uh, we have prepared several example data sets, uh, so you can start using them and making yourself uh, more comfortable with NGMM tools. And uh, in order to download uh, the example files, again, you can follow the instruction here. So what you need to do is make sure to be in the work directory and then type this command. So uh, let me try this and see what happens. So now you see that uh, by typing uh, this command, uh, it tries to download uh, the example data set available over Google Drive. And uh, this uh, folder will be created uh, with uh, several flat files uh, existing here. And Greg will talk more about the structure of these files and how you can use them for doing regression and uh, prediction. Uh, the size of the file is around two gigabytes and therefore it may take some time to download. And I'll come back when we are done with this. Okay, so now you see that the download is complete and we have uh, access to uh, these example files. Um, the other thing is that uh, when you are done running a uh, regression or using NGMM tools, it's always a good idea to stop the container and remove the image from your disk. In order to do that, uh, you can use the Docker desktop. So first you need to go to the containers tab and here you just need to stop. After that, uh, you can go here in images and then make sure to remove that. So with this, uh, we can clean up the disk and make sure that we're not using any uh, space there. Okay, so that is uh, what you need to know to be able to install NGMM tools using Docker and then uh, launch the Docker environment and run NGMM tools.